Hi everyone, welcome back. It's been so long, but I'm here and I have no excuses, but just to talk to you. And uh, today I'm so excited because I get to share some behind the scenes from another skating video that I'm gonna be posting very soon. It's in the making, so hold your horses, it's coming very soon. And if you follow me on social media, I guess you've seen that I've been skating outdoors so much these past months. And I guess that's why I've been a little like slow to post on YouTube or something, but I'm, I'm happy and, and everything is great with me. So I'm, yeah, I wanted to actually share some behind the scenes of the video that I'm gonna be posting and also share a couple tips from a fellow skater to, just so you would keep these things in mind when you do decide to go skating outside. Obviously what I did was crazy extreme and I don't think I would repeat it and I don't think I would recommend it for others, but it was so gorgeous that in some ways it was really worth it. And I do think that the outcome and the result in the end is gonna be really something unique and special. So I can't wait. Anyway, about in the beginning of this week, around Monday, I contacted Magnus Heinmetz, who actually shot the other skating video that you see on my YouTube. I contacted him and I was like, oh, okay, I got this idea. I wanna go skate on the sea with a huge flowy dress and just skate and I want you to film it. I wanna post it and I think it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> Can we do that? And actually we've been so lucky with the cold winter. So I was, I saw that it's gonna stay cold throughout the whole week. I was hoping maybe we could do it. He was like, yeah, that's an awesome idea. I'm so glad you're sharing these things with me because I'm kind of like hands-on and very spontaneous in these things. Like the swamp video as well. It was just, I saw him. It was the first um, ice that we had this winter. I contacted him without ever meeting him before. I was like, do you want to shoot? Me? Or I was like, next time that you go skating, take me with you. And then he was like, uh, okay. And then two days later, let's go. And then we spent three hours in the swamp filming and the result was awesome. So that's why it, it just works between us. We're both very spontaneous and just like, there's no, if you get an idea, it's, it's obviously possible to make in real life. I'm not really one to, I'm always the one to find solutions rather than pointing out things that won't work. So that's why maybe I need to tone myself down at times, but at least um, the content was awesome. And so Monday I contacted him and then he thought about it. On Wednesday night, he messages me around 5 p.m. I was driving back from work and he's like, okay, Joe, tomorrow we have the only sunny day this week. Are we doing it? And I'm like, no problem for me. What time? I mean, <laughs> I had a bunch of work things, but I was like, we're going to make it happen. And I told him, I think best is sunrise because uh, it's, it's, it's the prettiest. And also it just works best for me because I have work that day. <laughs> and so... He gets back to me, he's like, that works. Let's meet at the gas station around... Yeah, we had to leave from the gas station that we were meeting at at six in the morning. So, which meant I had to get up around 4.50 to do this. And also my biggest issue, where am I gonna get the dress? Because I don't have a big flowy dress. I, why would I? And so I went over the list of designers that I know in Estonia and I, couldn't think of any that would have such a big dress on such short notice. Plus you have to keep in mind that with the skates, it could get broken. So I didn't want to take the risk. My next idea was, okay, I'm going to go to a fabric store, get a huge fabric. It'll work. It's great. But then I was like, okay, I'm like a 40 minute drive from a, uh, no, that's not going to happen. I was just like, never mind. I'll find something from home. So I go home, I tell my mom about this crazy idea that I have. And she's like, Joe, have you looked at the weather tomorrow? It's like over minus 20. I'm like, yeah, who, like, pff, whatever, it's fine. Yeah, it's, it's not, that's not something you should actually be saying if it's over minus 20. But since I had been outside, I've done a bunch of projects out, outside in the cold, wearing just one layer. I was like, we'll manage. It's, it'll be worth it. So that was the end of discussion there. But my mom really helped me find a dress, so to speak. So actually she dug out this gorgeous silk scarf. So it has like a purplish, bluish, and it's super flowy and it's huge. You see, it's, it's very long. So she found this, we tried it, we wrapped it around my body. I was running around the house to see if it floats 
and I sent it to Magnus. I was like, this is the best I have. This is what we're going to use. He's like, as long as it floats, it's perfect. And that was that. Next morning, I wake up at 4.50, do like a quick makeup, like a freaking zombie, and did my hair. So I was wearing two layer, two pairs of very thin tights just to have two layers because the two layers keep some air in between, which keeps your legs a bit warmer. And side note, my legs didn't get cold, not once. Then I had a mesh body, which also is very warm, wet mesh. So I was hoping it'll work out. And then this. So my mom wrapped it around me and then she sewed it together in my back and put some needles in it to hold it in place. And then she was just like, okay, Joe, don't move a lot in the car. Just try not to get it wrinkled. Please hold it. It's very nice silk. And I'm like, yeah, okay, that sounds safe enough. And off I went. I met with Magnus. We were both like, this is freaking crazy what we're trying to do. We start driving. It was over an hour drive. In the middle of the road, it was like minus 27 and a half. And I was just like, this is ridiculous. And actually, if it would have been a little windy, it would have been like, like suicide to go skate in that sort of weather. But we were really lucky. It was zero wind. It, I do get wind when I skate, like a lot of it. But since there was no extra wind, it was manageable. And so uh, I'm just going to show us just some behind the scenes as I speak. And we got to the beach. So gorgeous, like ice as far as you can see. I had never seen anything like it. And everything was just quiet. No air was moving. Really amazing. So. No, nii, oleme kohal käsmus. Temperatuur on kukkunud 21 minus kaadi. Tõusnud! 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 Aga ilm on mega. Tuleb mingi äge päike siit. Johannal on tuju laes. Mul ka varmad jääs. Meil on ka ei mitte. Oh god! We started. Um, every drone battery lasted about four minutes, so that was exactly the amount of time we had to film my skating with a drone. So I went out to the ice, I skated for four minutes, that's as much as I could do because it was really hard to breathe and also because it was cold. So after every four minutes, I ran back to the car, I was sitting and actually Magnus stayed in the car to fly the drone and I was so far off that I couldn't see him at all, the car or nothing. I was like a kilometer from the beach, that's how far I could go on the ice and, and the ice was complete mirror, like a, as smooth as it gets. It just had a light layer of snow, but it didn't bother me at all. And in the car, I warmed up after each um, drone session. And then the last time that I went out, Magnus came with me on skate so that he could uh, uh, follow me with the camera and we did some more shootings there. So this is basically how we worked it out. But the, the what I'm saying now doesn't do justice and these videos that I'm showing here doesn't do justice because it was incredible. The ice on the shore was really bad, so I'm going to share some bloopers in the end where you see how we were struggling there. But once we got away from the shore, it was really nice. And and I do have a few recommendations that I learned through my own mistakes over there skating. And I really hope that others won't make the same mistakes. I was lucky enough, but some might not be. So one thing really important for me was Vaseline. I'm sure everyone knows what it is. It's just this kind of like paste, I guess. And I put Vaseline on the tip of my nose, tip of my ears and my cheekbones. And it kind of kept it like, because I got wind. So when I skated and it helped this just to protect the skin, you know, and I didn't get as cold. So Vaseline I put on each time that I went out basically. And secondly, very important, do not stop moving. I kept moving the whole time and my body never got cold. Actually, my body was warm till the end and I did have a bathrobe with me. 
but I was moving all the time. As soon as I stopped moving, I got cold. So I ran to the car and I warmed myself up. So it's very important not to let your body temperature go low because it's, imagine minus 23 degrees, one layer of clothes, no hat. It, it's, it's not really possible to stay warm unless you actively move, which I was doing. Pelvisen kaksi tyks, kun se on. Kas mä kukkusin ka? No õnneks on meil see kaadis olemas. Trooni laku täiesti tühi. 1% kukkus ise põhimõtteliselt jää peale. Kaamera meil on elus ja sellega kukkusin ka. Aga teeme veel viimased. Viimased ja mega ilus ilm on. Super luks. That's second of all. And third is the fingertips. My mistake was that not really a mistake because I I couldn't have worn mittens with a freaking silk dress. So so my fingertips really f like froze quite badly actually. I didn't get frostbite thankfully, but I think I was like a few minutes away from getting frostbite because up until today, I still feel my middle fingertip is like a little sensitive. It's it's just a bit strange. It still feels like it's melting a little bit. You know the feeling after you, you're really cold and then you warm up, but you feel a bit of pain. And so I still feel a bit of that. And I don't know, it's probably gonna go away soon. I hope so. But it's, it's, it's like not a joke. Like frostbite is not a joke. Being cold outside is not a joke. So really, it's absolutely amazing to skate outside this winter. It's been gorgeous and I've done it so many times and I enjoy it like, like nothing else. And I really encourage others to do it. Of course, when it's safe, when you know that the ice is strong enough, which you can always test as well. But please like stay warm and, and be smart about it. I, I tend to get a bit too loopy about these things sometimes when I'm too excited about the project. So, and, and lastly, yeah, do not wear a silk gown because as you see, <laughs> I, I did manage to actually fall a bunch of times and the gown has a bunch of holes now in it. It's not too bad, I can still make something out of it. <laughs> but this is just, I'm really glad I didn't use any uh, designer's dresses because I, I would have felt quite bad about it. And the holes came just because I tried to do some trick or something and then I just, I my skate got stuck in the, in the skirt and you know, that, that's just how it is. But yeah, that's basically all I wanted to share today. The video will be out super soon. Please, everyone take a look. I hope it's you're all gonna like it and I hope it's gonna be just as amazing as I imagine it will be. And I will be back soon. I have so much to share with you. I'm really happy. And I hope you all have been have managed to stay safe. I actually did have COVID in December. If you want me to share my experience, you can let me know in the comments or, or just send me a message up to you and i appreciate everyone who has subscribed to my channel i really hope i can um that you don't have to uh uh what the word is that you don't regret subscribing i'm so glad there's so many of you and this really inspired me to do more of these videos and well here's the first of many <laughs> okay have a lovely evening everyone and ciao no magnus Saada tervitusi! Mene Pekki! Saadan küll, jah! Miks kõik ei terveks panu? Võtsa Pekki see! Ma tõi see trooni peal iga! Ma panta, et ma naeran! Hea flooper! Tere, vana ei saa ja vana ei mõna! Tere, tere! Ma lähen enne koha ja satan kõrdi kontenti rooli. Näitsa lõppe. Ja õppi uiselt rooli. Ei, aga siin on jumala karm, noh, ma räägin. Ma olen sit jää, siin ei ole. Või sõlt, võita. Või ei taha, või? Väga ai, mis asja? Wow! Ära nüüd ka kerdad juba! Mis sisse? Haigelt jääb kinni siin jah. No võtta. Uus austes minu vastu, kes siit algul põhjub. Ei, ma ei ole võib, kus põhjub. 
Bra, ja, kunde du höra? Ja. Är var? Hur du på gammal? Nej. Ja. 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 Ja.